back for the update for the boost for cheesesteak run. About to replace the wide band today. So I got my little setup here. It's actually really dirty in here now, but it doesn't matter. So here's a new O2 sensor, wide band sensor. Hopefully this works. There's a part number. Instead of buying it from AEM, I just get it from use this part number from Bosch. So let's see if I can open it one hand. Oh, there we go. There it is. So install that today. See the wide band ring. These really crappy days raining outside. So I don't know. Let's we'll see what happens. This is how I just how I get my car up on the uh because the car's so low, it's how I get it up on the I use old rotors, drive it up on some old rotors. <laughs> Whatever works. I'm gonna get the jack up under there. Good to go. But yeah. Get this popping. Almost there. Once you get the wide band next, start tuning it. Start messing with my idle tune, which is it's pretty good as it is already, but I just wanna critique it. Cruise tune. I'm not going into wide open throttle just yet. Um pull the spark plugs. Check the gap. Stop. I got a uh, leak on my power steering reservoir. Got another one. Just gonna replace that. Um what else? Like I said, yeah, do another boost leak test. This is zero boost leaks, no leaks, no oil leaks, no antifreeze leaks. And then uh, be ready to go. But I drove the car yesterday to, uh, what is that? What's the place called? Albrightsville, PA. So it did really good in the highway. No problems. So, eh. If you hear the rain, probably. Horrible out there. Let's see. Yeah, it's crappy out there. But the work never stops. You gotta keep going. It is what it is. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Wide band install. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Hope this wide band will work like it's supposed to. Now.